Alright, that's it guys. The advanced the Roblox FPS boosting tutorial. If you're getting really bad FPS in your games and other people can easily defeat you with their good PC, then I hope finally with this video everyone will be able to get big FPS in their favorite games. So there will be around 6 serious steps to boost your FPS in Roblox. Also this video is for all Roblox games so you don't have to worry. Before we start, if you only can take your 5 seconds and like this video, it will make me a really happy person. I spend a lot of time to collect resources from online, websites and YouTube to get the best settings as possible. Also these settings I am going to show is really simple, everyone should be able to do them with no problem. Now let's get into the video, enjoy watching. Alright, the step 1 is going to Roblox Studio. Click to Roblox Studio and go to Roblox Studio. Once it opens, you will see a file left top of the screen here. Click that, you will go to Studio Settings and click the rendering. Put quality level and edit quality level to level 1. This helps a lot. And scroll down, you will see graphic mode. Go to general tab. If it's closed, just click to general, you will open it. And from that, I want you to change to Direct 3D9 if you have really bad PC. But if you have a decent PC, change to Direct 3D11. In this case, I have a decent PC, so I'm changing to 3D11. Step 2 is basically deleting the textures in the game. So floor, wall, like everything you see has textures here, right? But if you delete them, it will boost your FPS like around 30, 40. And it will also downgrade your ping a little bit. But if you don't play FPS games like Arsenal, Phantom Forces, you don't really need to care about the ping. But FPS is overall the best choice to play the game well better. So all you need to do is go into File Settings of the game. So follow my steps. First, you gotta find your Roblox. Go to Search Menu, type Roblox Player. You will see a Roblox Player with a gray logo. You will click Open File Location. Right click Roblox player again and open file location again. It will go platform content, PC and texture. So you can delete this texture like this or you can put ladder on it like this, right? And you can delete the ladder once you're done or once you want to put the textures back. Or you can make a backup folder like this, uh, textures backup. And you can let me, like this. So if you want to keep a couple of them, like let's say you want to keep sky and water and you can put the rest of it with selecting in the backup folder. And once you want to put all, them, all, all of them back, you can put all one by one or all of them back here. So I'm going to show you guys the game, how the game looks like without any textures. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it then. Okay, so let's go get into game and let's see how the game looks like. So as you guys can see, there's no textures. There's only solid and smooth colors. That's it. But that will increase your FPS and downgrade your ping a little bit. PC settings is a little bit more complex and there's multiple uh, steps in it. If you're like 9 years old or 10 years old, you might be scared like if you're using your dad's PC or someone else's PC. Uh, every settings that I'm going to show you guys, you guys can put back to normal, so you guys don't have to worry about it. So let's start with step one. So the first step of the PC settings is going to the search bar and type background apps. You will see something like this. Click it and you will get this. So this might not be an option if you are, <coughs> pardon, this might be not an option if you are like Windows 8, Windows 7 or using Mac. But if you are Windows 10, I'm pretty sure you have this and disable all of the background apps and it will affect uh, your FPS in games because your PC won't work something else in background and it will focus your game only. Second step of PC settings is go to the search bar, type Roblox player, uh, Roblox player with the gray logo, open file location, right click Roblox player again, go to properties, uh, compatibility, then you will see two options here disable full screen optimization so try with disable full screen optimization first and you, you, will, you will also uh, check run the program as an administrator right and then you apply this if you get any problem in the game just uncheck this 
and apply again because for some people uh, dis disabling full screen optimization helps and for some people doesn't okay keep in mind third step for pc settings is basically go in the search bar and type game mode settings you will see this i'm not sure if this existed in uh, windows 8 or 7 but just try so click this and disable this okay you might also enable this because for my research some people get more fps when it's off and some people get more fps when it's on so just try both of them but uh, if i turn this off it is better for me you know again go to the search bar type uh, game bar then click expose game bar if you get something like this all you need to do is go to settings accounts and sign out this is bad because it works in the background while you play any other games which is bad fourth step of the pc settings is keep track of your minimized apps so if you checked here this is my minimized apps show hidden icons it might be somewhere else for different pcs but i'm pretty sure every pc has this one so click this and you will see every program that works in background so for you there might be a lot of stuff for example discord best example i can give if you play games you can close discord if you don't talk with anyone or you don't do anything with the discord at the moment just quit it because everything that works in background is affects your gameplay i mean gameplay fps whatever so just keep track of your minimized apps and close everything that you don't use currently fifth step of the pc settings which is the last one go to search bar type pc you will get this one this pc go to pr properties advanced system settings you will get this small screen click settings and then so you can there's there's two things that you can do or you can use my settings which is this one or you can use uh, i just best uh, for best performance which it will disable everything if it disable everything and uh, uh, things will change like um i don't know your font won't look nice like like it was before so if you use my settings which is um font shadow thumbnails and shadow on the windows which it will look way better but if you had everything on like this uh maybe you use your dad's pc as i said before or your uncle's pc or your sister's or brother's they might notice the difference and they might be mad at you for changing the settings so if it everything was in appearance mode or everything was unchecked you can put adjust performance mode when you play games and when you're done with games you can put always always put back to appearance mode and then apply so your sister or brothers or dad won't notice everything anything so but my settings are basically this three font and then uh this and this one i use those three and it looks really well and it helps me to get best fps in my games step four is changing your resolution in your display settings go to search bar type display settings you will get display settings section click that it will bring you to this one so if you have multiple monitor uh, just to choose the one you're using for the games which is this one for me if you press identify it will show you which one is so scroll down you will see display resolution if you use the highest one which is it's good it's as recommended for me but if if you if it's a recommended but you still get a lot of fps it's always go uh, it's better to go down so uh, you can try the lowest one but i recommend you to go 1280 seven on twenty if 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 this i mean sorry it's hard to talk when you have dental braces if 1280 and then 720 is the max for you then you can consider to go down like 800 to 600 okay but let's say we're gonna choose 720 you click that it will ask you if you want to keep this ch changes or not you're gonna say keep changes then it will uh change everything but i'm not gonna change because i'm happy with the settings i have currently but if you change to lower it will definitely affect your fps in games okay but it, will, it might look a little bit different you have to get used to it of course and it's nothing bad it's, it's always okay to use your pc in a low resolution if you have a bad pc but yeah that's it step five step five is special for uh, people who have nvidia graphics card 
So if you if you don't know if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or not, you just right click on your desktop, you will get NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have this, you can skip this step, but if you have it, just click it. You will get the control panel. Then you will see adjust image settings with preview. Click this, you will get uh, this video. So right now is in the performance mode for me, but uh, it might be something like this for you. Uh, let me see. It might be something like this, right? You see that the video looks smooth. The edges is like really nice, but we don't care about the quality. We have to get best performance as possible. Use this, uh, use my pref uh, preference and put preference to performance. Then you will see the video, the, the edges looks a little bit sketch, which is fine. You don't really need to get good quality in this case. So if you've done this, you apply. I mean, you can do more settings um, on Google. I mean, on YouTube, you can check it to get best performance. Manage 3D settings and you can uh, put this settings that I did. But I do, not rec I do not recommend to play with this because this is really advanced stuff and it can mess your, with, with your PC. So just do the, the, the one I told this one and you should be good. Click this, performance, apply, and you're done. Step six. In the step six, I will be showing you guys two examples. One from Roblox Parkour and one from Roblox Arsenal. We're gonna go in the game and I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples from the settings. There's a couple settings that if you change them, it affects uh, FPS in game. So it's important to know the settings before you play other any game. Uh, I'm gonna show two games, as I said, but if you, if you play a different game, you can search on YouTube, let's say Roblox um i don't know roblox adopt me best settings and i know for a fact there's a lot of youtubers that show specific uh, best settings for specifically one game and you can check that game i mean the video and check the settings that they made and you can find your best settings for yourself but yeah let's get into the video all right so we are in a roblox parkour if you click settings you will uh, get a lot of settings here first uh, let's start with uh, a couple settings Camera tilt, full tilt, I'm not sure if they uh, affect because they're just movements. I don't think they affect that much. Um, camera tilt on fall uh, might affect because you, you shake your camera, which is a lot of movement on your screen. Uh, camera shake is the same and you can disable them if you want to. One FPS is one FPS, right? Vignet, 100% disabled it. Uh, MO features, you cannot do much about it, but using disabled in case because small uh, icons is way better. Play invites are also bad because it just pops up FPS on your screen, which is bad for FPS. Time trail sky beams is like a light to go, that goes to sky, which is bad to see on your screen. Uh, it's bad for FPS. Hack billboards is a picture on uh, billboards, which is really bad. Disable it for better FPS. And then there's already a graphics level using lemon if you already have bad pc you can use low too and uh, this lemon mode is basically delays textures nice and you can enable the fps counter i'm gonna have 60 fps right now if i use fps on my crew, i'm gonna get around 180 200 or something and colors doesn't mean anything for the glow don't use glowing glow okay and don't open your light because those two things uh, downgrade your FPS one or two, which is bad. But yeah, that's it. And also, also, in the game settings, obviously put your graphics quality all the way down. Okay, this is the best thing that you can that you can do in every game. Put your graphics level all the way down. But yeah, that's it for the parkour. Let's go in the arsenal. All right, so arsenal is a competitive game, which. Um, is way better if you, it doesn't matter if you have a high-end PC or low-end PC. It's always best to use everything in low settings, like I did. I have a decent PC. I'm getting a lot of FPS in F Arsenal, but I still use uh, low settings to get best performance as possible to uh, react faster, other than um, enemy. You know, so subtitle is bad for your screen because it pops up uh, another. Uh, GUI, which is bad. Kill effects is hella bad. Disable that. Shadows is hella hella bad. 
In every game, Shadows is bad, just disable it if you have a really bad PC. Field of view, as I said, just use the lowest if you have a bad PC. Ragdolls, basic skins, uh, minimize V model, everything just disable them, okay? Some of them obviously uh, doesn't affect much, but one, F one FPS is one FPS, as I said, just consider it and it will like, just one, F from, one FPS from there, one FPS from there, and it becomes together two FPS and later, it will become 10 fps 20 fps you know everything consider everything as a fps and close it audio mute megaphones because i don't know if megaphones uh, like radios effects or anything but i don't like to listen anyway that pain noises close it you don't have to hear that noise every time it's also uh, effects because if you keep let's say you kill like two people at the same time it's gonna kill like two dead noises which is bad announcer voice is bad and then mute you can mute chat mute, i'm pretty sure chat is also affecting your gameplay a little bit but i'm not sure if it's just um changing or not but i don't know i'm pretty sure it does but i'm not 100 sure and yeah okay, game pads you don't use game pad probably auto reload it doesn't affect but yeah uh every game has their own settings you have to use them uh you can go one by one of course and Try to understand what the, the settings do, does and then you can consider disabling or enabling it depending on what your purpose in game is etc i know i couldn't uh, explain really well but i'm try i tried my best uh, english is not my first language so apologies but yeah that's it for two games and as a last i will show one more thing let's go get that one all right, so the last step is FPS Unlocker. And I'll be giving a couple information about FPS Unlocker because I've seen a lot of people give wrong information about it. First thing you need to know is that FPS Unlocker doesn't boost your FPS. All it does is unlock your FPS cap. Roblox caps your FPS to 60 FPS and to unlock that cap, you need FPS Unlocker. So if you have 60 Hz monitor, you might say, why would I go above 60 FPS? My monitor is only 60 Hz. Well, it's always better to get high FPS, even though it won't help you much other than make your gameplay smoother. But if you have 144Hz monitor or higher, and if you don't unlock your FPS, you're probably wasting your monitor. Higher Hz and higher FPS together brings better quality to your gameplay. If you don't know what I mean by 60Hz and 144Hz, it's basically the refresh rate of your monitor each second. If your picture of peace, I mean. If your PC refreshes 144 pixels each second, it's way better than 60Hz because you see things faster. For example, if someone peeks you and you have 60Hz monitor and other guy has 144Hz monitor, he will be seeing you faster because his monitor refreshes the screen faster than yours. And if you have godly aim, he will be killing you before you see him. I also want to mention that if you don't even see 60fps in your game, there's no reason to use FPS on your because it won't do anything. If you're starting to get 60fps after the settings I showed you, then you should 100% use FPS on your because your FPS wants to go higher than 60. And once it goes above 60, your gameplay will feel way smoother. So I hope everything was understandable in this video. If you are confused, please let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you or someone else might help you as well. I really hope I was helpful in this video because it's really sad to have a bad PC and get in low FPS when you play games. You might say, how do you know that? Well, once I started to play games, I had really bad PC and my dad was thinking it's good PC so he never got me a better PC. But I worked hard and got my PC for myself. So I really hope everyone can get good PC someday and play their favorite game with highest FPS as possible. So that was it guys, thanks for watching. You can consider to like, comment, share so more people can see this video and a lot of people can play their favorite game with high FPS. You can subscribe to my channel and join our Discord group to get new friends. Also I have a couple nice looking Roblox merch if you are interested. You can share the group to see more. But yeah, as always, take care and peace out.